For the past few weeks, I have been testing several ROMs, or shall I say, I have been testing every single ROM on the XDA developer's side for the Samsung Galaxy S9 Exynos, and this is the best ROM that I've found, Evolution X ROM. Now, what differentiates it from the other AOSP Android-based ROMs, and what is it really that strike me the most about this ROM? So, starting off from the looks of it, you can see that it is pretty stock look to it, but there are literally thousands of customizations that you can pull off on this ROM. And that was not the key feature that really made me stick to it. Actually, it was the performance and the battery life that came along with it. I've done a lot and lot of testing on different ROMs, but this was the best that I have found yet. And it has extreme customization features, like it has every single thing that you could have ever imagined to be customizing on your smartphone. And that was also a good feature to have because I can change literally from the status bar to everything in my about phone section. I can change everything from what the home button does to what the side key and the power key of the phone does. And that was really sweet on top of the latest Android with the latest security patch. And it also allows you system updates from inside of it without you having to dirty flash the ROM. I was using the White Wolf kernel and I found it to be the best kernel on S9 available right now for uh, performance, not the battery life. But even after using it, I was able to get really good battery life and I've also done GPU overclocking. But that is something that requires a really good cooling system. I mean, if you're not sitting in an air conditioned environment and you're playing games on this thing and it will really not miss a single FPS. It will really be sticking to 59 and 60 frames per second in most intensive games, but it will start to discharge soon if you don't have it cool because the charging throttles instead of GPU or CPU throttling, it's charging throttles. And that does not happen on one UI, but that is something that I sh thought you should know that after 42 degrees on the battery, uh, it starts to throttle down the charging speeds actually, so that is a miss, but the PUBG is so good on this thing that I've just not missed the iPhone. I really did not miss iPhone XR, but yes, it does get hot occasionally and if you're not air conditioned or having any sort of external fans to it, this thing, you will surely be crossing a lot of heat and I had to use it without a back cover because with a cover it was really bad um, I really missed the grip of the cover but with the cover it heats like hell so there's a little thing that you should keep in mind and also I'll let you see the performance and judge it how you want to this is in 60 frames per second and recording in 2k resolution on 60 fps with 8 megabit per second so you can see
Now let's talk about the second most important thing, shall we? And it's definitely the battery life. The battery life, simply put, is amazing. It will last you a day if you are using it for medium usage or even some really browsing and internet stuff. But if you're gaming, then of course you should not expect tremendous battery life. But here's the thing, I had noticed that I slightly degraded my battery life after using it for one year with PUBG Mobile and charging it while playing it. So there is that and I actually have 2500 million parts of capacity left. So. Another thing that I wanted to tell you that it also allows you to charge on 2.3 amps while the screen is on and that does not happen on One UI. One UI only lets you to go through uh, 1.2 amps on max while the screen is on and when it does turn off it boosts your current to 2.3 amps but in this ROM it happens the other way around so that is there. That was it and that was my review for the Evolution X, hope you liked it and I would simply say that I suggest you to try this ROM as it is the best AOSP ROM for S9. Another thing I wanted you to know was that you do not have stock camera support here, you are not going to use the Samsung stock camera app on Evolution X or any AOSP based ROM actually so you will have to use the processing of Exynos instead of the camera software processing so there is no really AI involved in any sort of post processing so you will lose a lot of dynamic range in camera. But you can also have a Gcam and I'll put the link of it in the description below. So that was it and I'm signing out. I hope you guys liked the video. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. This is the Ray Lesson and I'm signing out. Peace.